Hello everyone. Welcome to another video in Karate series. In our last video, we saw how to read an external feature file, right? In this video, we will see some more advanced features on read function, okay? Uh, so now let's try to one more uh, scenario in our feature file. So this scenario is testing uh, the user details of user 2, right? With the ID of 2. Let's write a scenario with the user ID 3. And let's hit this request in our postman. Okay, so this is our expected output, right? Right? I'll create a new uh, result.json file. Result two.json. Okay. I'll put it here. And this file I'll rename it to result one dot json. Okay. Now I have to read both files here, right? Read result one dot json and result two dot json, right? Okay. So uh, the expected output one and expected output two. Here I can write one and here I can write two. Okay. Let's run this file now. You said details two and you said details three. So what if uh, if you have to uh, check uh, for example if you want to compare the user details or if you want to validate the user details of uh, some 10 users and we need to create some 10 feature, uh, 10 uh, JSON files and all files have to be read from here right. So uh, that's not required what we can do is all the result.json I mean all the expected data we can put it in the same JSON file and we can read from there so let's see how to do that so that what i can do is i can take this data I can add it from here in an array inside an array okay so uh, if you have some 10 data, so you can add all the 10 data inside the one inside a single file with the comma separated by a comma. Okay. And here I need to read only one file that is read result one dot JSON. And this file I can delete out. And here, uh, who can I read? Like uh, now, uh, the result one dot JSON is being stored here in this uh, variable, right? Expected output one. I'll rename it to expected output only. Expected output, right? How can I take the first member of this expected output? That means I want to compare only these data for user ID two, right? I can take this data like expected data, expected output of zero. Simply like uh, if you have an array with some 10 data, how do you take, uh, how do you navigate through that array by taking the index number, right? Similarly, you can take the user, uh, user details to data with the expected output of 0 and this one expected output of 1, okay? And now let's run this file. Okay, so our data we were able to read the data uh, for both the scenario from the same feature, uh, from the same JSON file, right? From a single JSON file. Okay. Now, uh, I'm just modifying this uh, automation or a suit structure. For example, uh, if there are in some cases, we might have um, so many JSON files or so many other files. So what I'm doing is, 
I am uh, moving all the uh, this test.java and feature files into one package and all the other data files into another package. Okay, so how to do that? I am creating a new folder here for uh, feature files. I will create a new folder features. I will move this uh, feature file to this package. Okay, and the test runner file also. And uh, here I can create one more folder, uh, data folder, okay, data. And this file I can move to data folder. Now what happens if you run this file, let's see. Some error has been thrown, right? So, what is the error? Could not find or read the file result 1.json because now the result 1.json file and feature files are in different package. So, this feature file is not able to read the uh, JSON file which is there in another package. So, for that, we have to uh, move to, I mean, we have to traverse to other package and then we have to read that file. So, how to do that? For that, we can uh, use a double dots with the forward slash. Now, if we have to uh, add the folder name also here because this is inside the data folder. So, this is how we have to read the file which is there in another some other package okay here what's happening is when we use the structure it's actually moving into its parent folder so which is the parent folder of this feature file a demo okay so uh, it read demo when we use this uh, structure now we are giving the data folder name data and then result one.json right okay let's see one another feature uh, I've created a different package uh, for you guys to show another uh, feature of, uh, related to this traversing. Uh, so, in this data one folder, I've kept the same JSON file over here. So, the same data, I've kept it here, okay? Okay, now how to read the, this file? This is in a completely different package, not inside the karato.demo file, okay? How to read that? I'm getting its name. And it's a data one folder. We have to traverse through this package till we get this data one folder, right? So when we use once this uh, double dots forward slash it will reach the more folder now we have to go to karate folder for that again one more but it's not finished it we have to go to this folder now one more so we have reached here right now now we have to go to this data one folder that is this one and then result test.json okay now let's run it Okay, so our test is passed. So, three times we have to use this. Okay. Now, I'll show you one other thing. For example, if you're creating a folder inside this package, uh, data new. Oh, I'll change name. And if this file is present over here, then how to read it? Because this is karata demo dot features and this is karata demo dot features dot data new. So both are actually in the same package only, but uh, result.json 
it's inside this data new one folder so that one we can write we can give the folder name and the json file okay so that will be enough data new then file name result one dot json okay let us run okay so our result is passed so this is because it is inside the same package we just have to give the uh, extra folder name that is data new folder okay now let's see if it is uh, inside karata.demo instead of karata.demo.features.data new what happens so now this file is inside karate.demo so we just have to but it is inside features file right so we just have to move to its parent that's it Bec then it will reach us karate.demo karate .demo folder so in that case we just have to write like this okay so now you have learned how to read the external feature file which is there in some other package or in some other folder right okay now let's see how to uh, read an external feature file or how to uh, make use of uh, how to reuse our existing feature file and some other file okay so for now i'm deleting all this data this two package should be enough okay uh, let's see if you i'm creating a new feature file over in the i mean the same package okay i'll just copy paste the same thing with some other name is that details to dot feature this one You said details one dot feature and um, taking the scenario, I'm removing that scenario from this feature file, and here only use a three scenario. Okay, so let's see uh, if you want to uh, read this user details one dot feature in this user details two dot feature for that, I have to right like this star gf uh, some name feature equal to read off and the feature file name inside quotes okay you say details one dot feature we have to uh, call the feature file in order to get the result of uh, in order to get the response of the file now the file just we just read this uh, file but no action is performed to perform this action star if result equal to there is a function karate call so call feature this variable name okay now so the action has been performed now let's print this response and commenting all other print lines okay and now let's see then print resp uh, result okay i'll show you some other feature also while printing if you want to append some text you can write it like this result now it will be printing like this result this hyphen and then the actual result okay let's send this now Okay, let's search for this text in our console. So this is the output we got. So what happens? This feature file has been run and this is the output. So now what we want is like, for example, I'm hitting the user request too. 
and uh, there might be some cases uh, when you log in or when you register to some site you will be getting some token and you might need that token in your uh, other test right so uh, in that cases and all you can use this particular feature here i don't uh, here uh, um, I mean user 2 details are not required in user 3 details but I am just showing you like how to call uh, some other file right so this user 2 details uh, for example I want this uh, uh, first name uh, field first name field value and uh, in, order, in order to make use in my feature uh, users 3 uh, user 3 test okay so how to take that for that I can store out here in some st uh, variable username or uh, what was that first name right first name equal to this result dot response so if you print this result dot response you will be getting only this much data instead of all this data you will be getting only this much data okay so uh, so if you print the result dot response you'll be getting only this much data and i want only first name fine so now the first name has been printed so uh, it's not just like uh, from this response you can uh, take any value from the uh, re uh, result for uh, like uh, if you want response cookies or response status request timestamp response time which anything okay so this is how you can reuse your feature file for example uh, and some uh, feature file will be in common in some feature file you'll be writing the common functions right and if you want to make use of that common function in uh, in, in your all other feature file you can just simply call that feature file and you, you can uh, make use it like this right one more thing here you know you don't have to write this uh, calling feature file in two separate lines you can combine this into a single line you can read this uh, you can re use this particular statement over here and simply delete this so the call and read functions both operations are performed in the single statement right now let's run this see all the tests are passed so that's all about this uh, feature call and read feature in next video uh, we will see how to generate karate reports using cucumber reporting library and also the parallel running feature in karate so those are some important features in karate okay so let's see in that uh, next video till then take care bye